This is an assessment of a Bluth the Grand Piano style 7, 6 foot 3 inches long, no alicot scaling. Um, and uh, the client's wanting to know what the best thing to do with it. He's bought it and uh, uh, wants an assessment on the piano. Now, first of all, we can say for this age of piano, the music stand's been replaced. Um, that would normally be fretted music stand. It's actually quite well done because it has a bit of shape to it, but good for standing music on compared to the original fretted one. It's got the original um, turned legs and uh, pedals as well. Key tops are original ivories. Um, none of them have come off and been stuck back down again, which is good. But there is quite a bit of uh, wear on the edge at the front, if you have a look there. You can see it's obviously been, that's a sign it's been played quite a bit. Well, actually, that one, I think, has come off and been stuck back down. You can tell by the line in the middle there. Um, but they're generally quite a good condition, though uh, a bit worn. So let's have a listen to the sound of the piano. Now, the client, client's complaining the piano's not... They didn't feel it had been tuned properly, but I think the main thing I noticed straight away is that it's much thinner sounding than it should be. And, that, and it, uh, the touch isn't right, and the keys aren't... Straight away, there's, there's problems with this. It's the very thin sounding hammers. Now, Blutner, you need very, uh, a very firm hammer in order to get a good tone, because Blutners are naturally m uh, mellow. So if you put new hammers on, for instance, you really need them to be nice and firm. So let's look at these, these hammers, and, and uh, sure enough, they're very... They, they, they can squash them. Now, they're very soft hammers. They've been recovered. These are not the original hammers, and it's very clear that if you look at the side of that, that's not new, a new hammer, that's a recovered hammer. A recovering is not always wrong, um, and firms like Arbel recover very well, but in this case, on a Blutner, it's about the last thing you want to do, because Blutner really needs to have firm hammers to start with, and then you can work on the firm hammers to tone them down as you want them to, um, especially this area around here. Uh, you, I can actually feel that they're very soft. So that's the problem we got there. So it needs new hammers. Uh, we would either put Renner or Arbel hammers on, and we work together with, with Renner, who uh, make all Steinway parts. Uh, Renner are opposite our Seven Oaks showroom. Now, looking underneath the keys, just to see how the felts are, uh, those, those have been replaced, um, and uh, they look in very good condition. Can't see any moth. Normally, I'd take the whole of the top of the action off to look at the keys, and a blue is so complicated getting the... Uh, it'll take a long time, and then uh, you've got to spend a long time getting it back on again. So if we have a look in the middle, can we just shine the light? That's it. Uh, I can't see any moth at all there. Uh, no, they've been replaced, so we sh that's, that's very encouraging. That's a positive point. Now looking inside the, the piano, here's a damper mechanism. There's the number of the blutner. All blutners have a number on the right-hand side. If you can't find a number on your blutner, look inside. But it, when you take the action out, it's a very dangerous thing to do because you break the hammers. So, um, but that's where the blutner number always is. Um, and uh, here's the, here are the dampers. They're in very good condition. Sometimes you get the, the, the leads at the back that expand and they cause the dampers to touch each other. When you put the action back in a blute in the ground you've got to be very careful to, it's best to lift the dampers up because these, uh, these bits here can easily break. They're very easily on a blute in the brake. It's very very common to, and, and, and also these, can, these hinges can easily break behind there so uh, be very very careful with blue thunder actions. Now looking at the inside of the piano, uh, we want to look for damage on bridge and um, di general, any damage really, on the soundboard where there's any cracks. Um, well, this soundboard hasn't got any cracks. If, we're gonna re if you restring a piano, we dry it out and then uh, we might find some cracks. Um, but there's no obvious ones here. There's a slight one perhaps opening up there, but nothing that will affect the sound of the piano. Looking at the soundboard underneath, uh, again, it's in very good condition. Can't see any sign of cracks. Uh, or any significant damage whatsoever. Also looking for woodworm, but there's nothing there at all. In, it's a clean bill of health altogether. The pedal mechanism looks fine, the legs are fine, there's no damage to it at all. Uh, th this black ebonized case could be repolished. The repolishing ebony is extremely difficult to get the same kind of finish. The black always shows up any defects, and, and so if you repolish it, it's really hard to get, get it looking satisfactory. Very often nowadays, um, what uh, the trade does is to, to redo them in a modern black polyester finish, which obviously isn't uh, what it like originally, but black polyester f is a good finish and a pleasant finish to have, and we, they're often redone that way.
on the top here you can see the cracks opening up and uh, obviously they'll all disappear when it's repolished but uh, yeah, as I say it's, 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 it's usually what happens nowadays they get redone in black polyester this case isn't terribly bad compared to what they can be and there's no veneer lifted or anything so probably what we'd suggest is just tidying up the case or as I say completely redoing it with black, modern black finish but the purist doesn't really like that idea so just finally let's listen to it again <laughs> the regulation is also not good um, so the, the in summary we need to change the hammers we need to regulate the piano um, quite a lot of aspects are fine the strings seem to be fine I think the tone is going to be good afterwards um, so I look forward to being able to do that um, hopefully if we get the work then you can listen to we'll put a video on of the piano when it's finished so thank you very much for listening and uh, goodbye <laughs>